I suppose I should probably explain what's going on. Well, if you've been following this channel for since the beginning, so if you've been following this channel at all, you would know that my plan since I've got my Jeep Wrangler was to try to utilize it as a vehicle that I could just kind of travel in and sleep in and just like I referred to it as a mini camper because in my head that's what came to mind when I thought of what I wanted. When I picked up this XJ on the weekend, I spent the next two days trying to find a way to fit all my previous knowledge of what I wanted to do in my YJ inside of this XJ and it ever so happened that it worked. I initially planned on driving to a destination and then um, cooking eggs, but now that I'm actually here, I'm pretty tired. I really need to figure out how to put up like curtains or something in here so I can have a little privacy. But right now, I'm just like all exposed, but we'll figure that out later. I'm in a. I'm at the Grizzly parking lot and stuff, so like I'm with good company. All the doors are locked. Worst case scenario, someone sees me, which would be awkward, and that's about it. Other than that, I think I'm okay, so I'm just gonna try to get some sleeps. Good morning. It's actually really cozy and I don't want to wake up. You don't want to get up because that means getting in the cold, and it is cold. Like, it, it's not even that cold. It's like 50 degrees, I think, maybe, or 60. This train right here has actually been going back and forth for a while. It doesn't know if it wants to go that way or that way. And here it goes again. And it still doesn't know which way it wants to go. It actually stopped again. It stopped instead of keep still going. It just, again. That was loud. It's still going. I can see it. I can see the end of the train. Come on. Oh, come on. All that work just to go to the bathroom. I didn't want to get arrested for public urination or something. I don't know what the laws are. A train never really moved, so I just walked around it and it moved now, so now we're good. So far my biggest issue with this whole setup is actually having this lift gate not lift. Ordered the new arm, so hopefully they'll be in tomorrow. I used Amazon Prime shipping and that'll help with a lot of it because that's the biggest issue. There they are, scrambled eggs. Tastes like scrambled eggs made in the back of a Jeep. So, they work, they're edible. Also, did you know that Bounty absorbs twice as much as other leading brands? I still don't know if that's true or not, but we're gonna go along with it, because it wasn't that much more expensive. And then just like that, she's all put up. I think I have a pretty decent setup. It could be better, but uh, it, it literally took me two days to put together and I actually am gonna do a video on how to do an overland build this cheap because the only thing that's missing for this to make it any different than an overland rig is the fact that the shocks are so shot and the suspension's low so it, it wouldn't be off-road capable. I'm gonna do just like a quick tour so you guys can kinda get an idea of how everything is but I'm not gonna take it apart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that for another video. Okay, so first off, this is the cooler and you can just pick it up, take it out, open it up, whatever. This is a propane stove. Inside of here, this is where I carry um, the forks and knives, some other things, and it's actually my Chemex, 
brewer is in here as long as as well as some coffee this is my main container that i use for all my cooking supplies there is a giant box underneath there that i plan on organizing it so right over here we have my trash room and i actually found out that you can hang it on the door uh, i couldn't think of anywhere else to hang it where it wouldn't just be flapping around and it still flaps around a little however it works great it sits outside it does look kind of funny but it still works right over here i have my military jug of water as well as my spigot jug of water and i have this right here this is a kit for recovery gear and it'll be really easy to take that out this is um my toothbrush and stuff and the soap and different things the sleeping bag usually laid out better but i just tossed it <clears throat> so i'm just going to toss it back where the passenger seat would be this is where i put a lot of stuff and it's a mess right now but right here i have my giant toolbox this is all of my clothes this is my computer my camera bag and underneath here i just have two boxes of miscellaneous stuff that i still need to go through right over there i have a pair of gloves and then my knife so it'll just be on hand in case i need it and then of course i have the cot set up which just runs right across there oh i actually almost forgot to mention right here um i have my longboard and then i have a pair of shoes and then i have my flip flops there so other than that that's a lot of free space i usually use that when i pull things down i leave it there or like when i go to bed I really need to go get some exercise because I'm out of shape. But also, uh, because I've been so busy lately, I haven't had the chance or the motivation to even go to a nature trail in a long time. When I went with Haley, it was the first time I went on a nature trail in like almost a year. So, probably gonna go take a jog. Well guys, it's been fun vlogging today. I'm really excited about this whole trying to live in the XJ kind of thing. There's this guy selling a pair of heavy duty OEM leaf springs and front springs and he's gonna sell them pretty cheap and I was thinking about getting those and then I definitely need new shocks. I don't wanna put too much money into the XJ but I also don't want it to drive like a boat. Like right now the rear sagging cause the springs are shot. So hopefully I'll be able to spend a little bit of money and just get the thing a little bit smoother. And I'm actually thinking of getting a 3 inch lift for it in the future, but we'll see how that goes. I'm going to go take this rung, and then I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.